Good morning, Junior 4. Uh, this is Miss Ruel with you. It's a math session uh, about uh, the lesson uh, of uh, approximation. Um, today is Wednesday, 18 March, and uh, let's continue our lesson about approximation. It's about approximating the numbers to the nearest 10. Let's know how to make the numbers approximate to the nearest 10. I can write the question with approximate the nearest 10 with letters or 10 with digits. For example, we have 523.6. This is the sign of the approximation. I want to approximate this number to the nearest 10. He asked me about the nearest 10, so I should cross the decimal part because the nearest 10 means we are in the whole part. This is the whole part. And we look at the tens digit. This is units, tens. We should stop here. This is the tens. And ask the digit in the right to the tens, which is three. Is three is four or each? We took yesterday that the number three is from the four numbers. Then three can't help two, so it will not give two anything. Then three will be zero, and two will be two as it is, and without five means the approximation of this number will be five hundred and twenty. Remember that all the digits before or in the right to that digit which has the approximation converted to zero. Let's take another example. We have here 637. We stop at the tens digit. Units, tens. This is the tens digit. We ask the digit before it, which is seven. Seven is poor or rich? Seven is rich. So he can help three by giving him one. Then seven will be zero because all the digits in the right two, the approximation will be zero. And three will take this one. One plus three equal four. And we down six. So the answer of the approximation will be 640. In this example, we have 299 and a quarter. We are made. We are in the whole part. So we cross the fraction because the fraction will convert to decimal part. And we are in the whole number. So we look at the tenth digit, which is units and tens. This is the tens digit. This is the tens digit. And now we will ask the digit before it, which is nine. Is nine is four or rich? Nine is rich, so it will give nine plus one. And now nine will be zero. Then this nine will take this one and nine plus one equal ten. I can't write 10 in one place, so we will put 0 and carry up 1. 1 plus 2 equal 3. The answer of the approximation will be 300. In this example, we have 3 and 4 tenths, or 3.4. We should remember that we are made the, we made the approximated for the near, to the nearest 10. So we are in the whole part. And then we cross the decimal part and look at the tens. Where is the tens here? We have only three, which is units. We don't have any tens. So we put zero in the tens place. And now stop at the tenth place. This is the tenth place. Ask the digit before it, which is three. Three is poor or rich? Three is poor. So it will not give zero anything. Then three will be zero. And this zero will still zero. 
So the answer will be zero. Here we have six and two thirds. We cross the fraction and look at the tens. Here we have six. Six is units. I don't have any tens, so we put zero in the tens place. And stop at the tens, which is zero. And ask the digit before it, which is six. Six is poor or rich? Six is rich, so it will give zero plus one. And six will be zero. Then zero will take this one. Zero plus one equal one. And the answer will be 0.0.